everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Stella Live, and in today's video I'm going to be doing my Christmas decor haul, and I will probably only be uploading one more haul after this, and that is just going to be from the Dollar Tree. So, I'm going to hop right into it because I do have quite a few items that I want to show you, and the first item that I am going to show you is from Goodwill. And I did show this in a previous video, but I wanted to include it in this video. And it is this street light tea light holder. I, again, I bought this from Goodwill and this was $3.99. It's got a little space for the, the tea light in here. <laughs> and I just thought this was really cute. They had, I think there was th three or four of these. I think there was three maybe. And I would have loved a second one, but the other ones were like bent and all dented and scratched up. So I only purchased this one. And then moving on to Dollar General, I bought this. My bats just fell down again. I'm seriously considering taking these down. They have damaged the wall and they keep falling whenever I'm filming. So anyways, I bought this Santa and this is kind of like a lodgy Santa, a rustic decor Santa, I don't know what you want to call him, but he was the only Santa that I could find that was wearing a black outfit at the time, and I bought this before Halloween, I hate to admit it, but I bought it before Halloween, and I think I ripped the tag off. I'm not positive on the price, but I think he was $8.00. And his arms move, you can, well, they're bendable, and they move. And the only thing that really bugs me about this is the little lantern that he's holding is glued to his sleeve. And I really wish they would have put it in his hand because this looks a little awkward to me. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing that really bugs me about it. And I'm having a hard time deciding if I want to do... Gothmas or if I want to do Creepmas. I've never done either one of the two and I have actually not decorated for Christmas in a very long time. If you are a returning subscriber you would know that I had cancer and I've never said this on my channel before but shortly after I had cancer I was homeless for six months and that was during the Christmas time. Um, I lived in my vehicle. I did have a job, but it was literally just, I was just able to pay for my car payments and nothing else. And my car payment and my insurance. That's all I was able to pay. And then I was able to get food through assistance. But I have not celebrated Christmas since before that. Um, I'm trying, I'm not trying to depress you because Christmas is supposed to be a good time. But I'm just letting you guys know that's why I have not celebrated Christmas or like de I've celebrated it. I just have not decorated for Christmas in a long time. But yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to do Creepmas or Gothmas or kind of mesh both of them together, which I think is going to happen because I've got quite a few like Christmassy pieces. So it will probably be a mesh of Creepmas and Gothmas together. I would also like to throw out that I am not gothic. I just really like the aesthetic. I'm going to put him right there because it looks pretty. <laughs> so the next few items that I got from Dollar General, I got this Rocky Mountain six foot tree. Whoops that's that's not anything um I got this tree and once again since I haven't celebrate I keep saying celebrated but what I mean is decorated since I haven't decorated for Christmas in a long time I didn't have a tree and this was $20 so I thought it was a really good deal I actually planned on getting a black tree from Walmart but it was 45 and I kind of wanted to save some money a little somewhere just so I'm able to buy presents this year and I was hoping that this was going to be pre-lit and it's not 
and I did notice that while I was in the store they had some colored lights on a white tree but I personally don't like colored lights for Christmas which is weird because I love them for Halloween just not for Christmas so I did pick up a couple of boxes of these indoor outdoor mini lights in white and these are going to be specifically to light up the tree because I do have some white lights to go outside. I'm hoping to decorate outside but we already have a bunch of snow so I don't even know if that's going to happen. I literally still have my sandworm from Halloween outside. Everything else is taken down except for that sandworm. So I really need to get out there and take it outside and take it outside and take it down. Okay, moving on to Bed Bath & Beyond. I went into Bed Bath & Beyond specifically looking for these candles and I'm a little bit disappointed because I ended up finding some twisted tapers at Dollar Tree for $1.25 and I paid like six bucks for these. And the reason why is because I have been looking all over for these twisted tapers everywhere and I have not been able to find them. I have been looking since July and Bed Bath & Beyond is the only place that I have found them at until a few days ago when I saw the twisted tapers at Dollar Tree in the Christmas section. But anyways, I went in there for these and I was hoping to find a white pair too because they said that they had some white ones in stock online, but I got there and they only had green. I was going to buy both colors, but they only had green, so I got this pack, and then by this pack was this pack of, like, I don't know what's called, honey the honeycomb pattern, like a bee's nest, and I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for these, but I think they're around $6 on sale. But yeah. I got these two packs of tapers and then the last item that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond is this tea light log thing <laughs> and I was not going to buy this because the original price was $22 but then I seen that it was on clearance for 6 bucks, so I was like you're coming home with me so I bought this and I may end up painting this white because it's like a, a yellowish, creamyish color. I don't even know. But I don't like the color of it. So I might end up painting this white if I'm able to. I'm definitely going to try. The next item I got is this black reindeer. And I really loved this. This was from Big Lots. It was $20. I do believe Big Lots has a sale right now going on. And their stuff is 30% off. At least I seen it a couple of days ago. It might not be going on right now. But I did pay the full $20 for this when I saw it. But I absolutely loved the fact that it was black. And I loved the little wreath around its neck. That was the only thing that I got from Big Lots. And then next, I got this from TJ Maxx for $14.99. And again, this is the only item that I bought from there. It is this, I want to say this is resin. This little Santa Claus. And I have plans to paint him black. I'm not sure if it's going to be all black or if I'm going to leave the white stripes. But I thought that this would be perfect to paint black. It would be very easy for me to paint black. Should I leave the stripes or should I paint him all black? Let me know. Okay, so moving on to Walmart. I got a few different bows and these are there to put outside if they make it outside at this point. Um, I got two of these red bows and you can Sorry, my son is making that <laughs> a lot of noise. Um, these two red bows, and these were $1.48 a piece. And then I got this candy cane striped bow, 
and I actually have plans to put my bat outside um, that I got from Joann's. I don't know if it's going to work, but I have a plans. I have a plans. I have plans to put my bat outside with this underneath of it. And I also got a Santa hat from Dollar Tree um, to glue onto his head. I'm going, I'm going to use hot glue so it will come off. But then I have this black bow to put on a branchy wreath that I got from Joann's on clearance that I totally meant to show you guys in my Halloween clearance haul and I totally forgot about it because I had it hanging up in my house. But this is to go on that branchy wreath on the front door. And this was $348. I don't know if I, if I told you how much this bow was. This bow was $388. So the next couple of items that I got from Walmart are these lighted candy cane pathway markers, I guess is what you could call them. And these do need to be plugged in. When I saw them in the store initially, I thought that they were solar lights, but I did see before I bought them that you have to plug them in. They do, however, come with stakes, so that's nice. And these were $3.98 a piece. And I'm not positive I'm going to use these ones out here this year. I honestly don't even know if I'm going to be able, again, to even decorate outside. I'm sure I will. I can make it work, I'm sure. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use these ones because I did get a, another one of these candy canes. And I say another one is because I bought one of these last year and then I decided I wanted another one because last year I just put this by my mailbox and this year I was thinking maybe I could put them on the posts um, on my porch. So the only thing that I don't like about this is that they don't come with stakes and that's why I put it on my mailbox, my mailbox last year because I had to figure out a way to put them up. But then I was watching another YouTuber and she said that the solar lights, the little stakes, from the solar lights from Dollar Tree will fit in here. So I may try doing that and see if that works. And that was $5. So next I went to Hobby Lobby and I was looking for some black Christmas decor and I found some black bottle brush Christmas trees. That was really hard to say. I found these in three different sizes and these were originally $14.99, but I do believe when I bought them they were 50% off. And I've noticed that they're even cheaper now because a couple of weeks ago when I was in the store they were 66% off. So I bought three of them in this size. And then I bought two of them in this size. These are... Quite a bit smaller than the larger size and these were originally $8.99 but again I bought them 50% off so basically I paid two for one two for the price of one and then I bought an even smaller size and I bought three of them unfortunately I could not find these ones in black these ones were $5.99 so I bought three of these and after I went back I seen that they had either restocked or they had finally stocked the black ones so I'm either going to spray paint these or I'm going to take them back and see if I can exchange them for the black ones because honestly I would ra rather just you know get the black ones um, instead of having to go through the hassle of spray painting these but Hobby Lobby is 45 minutes away from me, so uh, we'll see if that happens. And I really quickly wanted to mention what I wanted to do with these. I want to make a creepy forest this year and put a silhouette of a deer in front of it with my little moon. That is my idea. I don't know how good it's going to look, but that's what I want to do. And that's why I bought all of these trees. And then plus I also planned on using my branchy trees that I bought from Halloween for that as well. 
The next two items that I have are these nutcrackers. Again, these are from Hobby Lobby and these were $9.99 a piece, but again, I believe I bought these 50% off, so 10 bucks for both of them. And I plan on, of course, painting these black. I don't want everything to be black though, so I did get a couple of white things and then a couple of red things, which you will see here in a second. And I did also want to mention that when I bought these, I thought they were the same nutcrackers. One is playing the drum, and then I don't even know what that's called, but I had meant to buy the same nutcrackers. Um, but yeah, I obviously was not paying attention. So I'm probably just going to keep them as is, and they can just be different. The next two items that I have are these geometric deer. They've got like geometric shapes on them. And these are actually meant to hold taper candles, which I have no idea how that would look. So let's try it out right now with one of these. Because to me, I think it would look kind of funny. So I might not even put a taper candle in them. I think it'd look cute on a mantle or something, but I don't have a mantle. So they'll probably just sit somewhere like this. My original idea was to paint them black, but I think I'm going to leave them white now because I do have another black deer, which I will show you here in a second. And I did buy two of these and these are actually um, in the candles section. So these are not holiday items. They are everyday decor items. And when I bought these, I seen at the bottom they had two different prices. One said $12.99 and one said $16.99 and I asked the cashier about it and she said, lucky for me, since one of them was $12.99, I get both of them for $12.99. And I think that they were also 50% off at the time when I bought them. So um, the $16.99 price is probably because they raised them is what she said. Okay, so this is by far my favorite decor piece that I bought this year, and this was $45.99, and I got this 50% off, and it's just this black, like, velvety deer, and this is the deer that I plan on putting in the spooky forest with the moon behind it. I just thought that would look really pretty. Um, and hopefully it looks like it does in my mind, otherwise I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> so the next couple of items are these red glittery trees, and these were $4.99 a piece, but I got them 50% off. And yeah, I didn't want everything to be black, I wanted there to be some color. No, no, no. My cat's trying to eat the bottle brush tree. Uh, no, no, no. The last thing I got is this from Hobby Lobby is this Merry Christmas sign. I thought about again painting this black, but we will see. I might just leave it red. So I thought this was cute and I might end up putting it in front of the deer in my little spooky forest, but I don't, you can't even see that, but I don't know yet. It all just depends. So the last thing I got is okay so it is called flocked I keep calling this stuff like velvet or whatever but on the bottom of this it says flocked tree so I got this black flocked tree and this was three dollars from Target I found it in the bullseye playground I always want to say dollar spot um, but I got this in that section and I really wanted two of them but they only had one left so I grabbed this and I have not been to, I have not been back to Target since. Anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys all next time. Bye!